welcome to this video. Today uh, we're going to show you the really basics uh, and uh, in this series of videos uh, I'm going to introduce you to some of the basic math con concepts that you're going to need to take any SAT, PSAT, E, ACT, GRE or GMAT tests. It's just the basic mathematical concepts and uh, well without further ado let's, let's just talk and start from the beginning. As you know, there are many kinds of uh, classification of numbers. Uh, the most common is called real numbers. So real numbers are nothing more than the numbers that we have on a straight line. And starting here from zero, all the numbers that are, are on the right are positive. One, two, three, etc. And the ones on the left of the zero are negative. Minus one, minus two, minus three, etc. Okay? Those are called the uh, real numbers. Now, also, you know, this uh, relationship that these numbers have regarding the zero, which is the most important number uh, in, in real numbers, is uh, can be expressed in this way. Okay, so x minus zero minus uh, y, for example. So, in other words. All the numbers that are on the left side of the zero are negative and on the right side are positive, okay? So, um, the other thing is that uh, also this zero could, could be another number, so it could be x minus y minus z, okay? It doesn't need to be zero. Writing it on this way, you can also see that x is, is less than y and y is less than z. Another concept that we need to remember is the absolute value. The absolute value of a number is expressed with these two, uh, I don't know how to call them, uh, bars. So for example, if I have minus three and I need to get the absolute value of that number, all you have to do in paper is just put it between these two bars and that will equal to the positive of that number. So no matter what number is here, negative, it will transform it into positive. Now many times I was, when I saw this for the first time many, many years ago, I was wondering why we need to have this absolute value. Well, the answer actually is very simple. There is some uh, values uh, or some numbers that do, do, do not have uh, negatives. For example, you don't have a minus uh, 120 pounds, okay? You don't have that. You don't have negative weights. So for those kind of numbers, it's useful to have that absolute value so that will transform into always positive. And that's also useful, of course, it's used for calculations, okay? Now, there is another concept called imaginary numbers, and it's very simple, okay? It's represented with the i sometimes, but uh, there are two cases where you can get imaginary numbers. First, what, what are imaginary numbers? They are uh, numbers that are unreal or that um, they cannot be calculated. So for example, if you divide zero, divided zero, that gives you an imaginary number, okay? Or mm, the better term will be indeterminate. So we, we can only determine how much zero divided zero. The other case is if you have uh, n divided zero, so n being any number, okay? Different than zero, so let's write here. Uh, n being any number. And this is the symbol for the for equal. And when you want to do a different for different, just cross it like this. This is n different than zero. So in this case, this also is equal to an to i, to an indeterminate. Okay, we don't know how much is that, but we just uh, call it indeterminate or uh, unreal. And uh, the good thing is that for most of the uh, standard tests, if not all. They don't really gonna ask questions about unreal numbers. Uh, so maybe if we give you a question, they will specify things like if uh, y divided x equals z. But then you know, since there is a risk here of this being an imaginary number, uh, they will for sure give you uh, this uh, specification where x, y, z is different than zero. Okay, so they know that uh, there is no imaginary number on this um, equation, okay? 
Now, that's for imaginary numbers. Let's talk a little bit about the, some very, 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 very basic uh, uh, science operations. And of course, you have seen all this in high school and in the first years of high school, but uh, it's good to start from the beginning and have a review. So what happens when you have two numbers and you multiply, divide, subtract, or um, uh, ret uh, ret subtract or, or add them? Well, you have to be mindful of the signs. So in, in the multiplication, for example, if I have a, a number which is positive, multiplied by positive, of course that gives me positive. Now I have a positive multiply negative, a negative number, that will give me negative, okay? And the division is the same, okay? If I have positive number divided positive number, that will give me a positive number, and if I have a positive number divided a negative number, that will give me a negative, okay? The same is if I have a negative number, so, so if I invert the order of this, it will also give me negatives. So the order doesn't matter. But I'm going to talk about that in a little bit. Now, uh, the addition and the subtraction are a little, little bit different. Okay? So if you have a positive number that you add to another positive number, well, that's of course positive. But if you have a positive number that you add to a negative number, we don't know how much it is. It's going to depend on which number is bigger. Okay? That's really, really basic. And the same is with the, with the subtraction. Okay? It depends on which number is, is bigger, the negative or the positive, then you can uh, uh, subtract uh, and the sign will, uh, will, be, will rule the sign that it's the bigger number. Okay? That's really elementary math. Now, there is another series of numbers called integers. Let me just clear this. Bear with me for a second. And the integer numbers are nothing more than real numbers that include uh, that are um, continuing. Okay. So in other words, they are whole numbers like minus two, minus one, zero, one, two, three, four. Okay. Those are integer numbers, Think, uh, numbers that are whole and don't have fractions. Now, uh, you use something like uh, 30.2, that's not an integer number. That's not integer, okay? And you see this concept a lot in when you are doing programming too. When you use integer numbers or floats, etc., etc. But when, when a number has a fraction like this, or if a number is like 3 fifths, for example, this also is not an integer, okay? Um, Remember that zero is uh, it's the only integer that is neither even nor odd, okay? So that might be, and also zero is not positive or negative. It's a special scale case with zero, you know, in math, zero is very important. Uh, another thing 